let's create a look on stage and record it as a scene. This looks OK, so let's record it in Red Page 1, Scene 1. The Record Scene button saves the entire output of the Maxim. Page 1 is the current page, so to record the scene, simply press Record Scene Red 1. Now let's alter some parameters and record the look in Page 1, Scene 2. This looks good, so record it by pressing Record, Red 2. Let's make another look and record it in Red Page 2, Scene 5. This look is OK, so press Record. Select Red Page 2, then press Red 5. We have finished recording, so fade down the yellow master. To play back Red Bank Memories, you must be in Scene Mode, and the Red Master must be faded up. To play back Red Page 1, Scene 1, Fade Up, Fader 1. To play back Red Page 1, Scene 2, Fade Up, Fader 2. Notice that the fixture parameters move to their settings as soon as the fader is raised above zero. The position of the fader only affects intensity, not parameters. To play back Red Page 2, Scene 5, select Red Page 2, then Fade Up, Fader 5. To play back Red Page 1, Scene 1 again, select Red Page 1, then Fade Up, Fader 1. To momentarily play back a scene, use its Flash Assign button. In the scenes that we just recorded, the fixtures instantly snapped to their settings when we play them back. This was because the default parameter times were set to zero. The easiest way to set a move time for a fixture is to set the default focus time. Press Menu, Times, Focus, then set the required time for the move. Let's try one second. Press Menu to finish. The default times for color, beam and focus are shown on the video screen. You can see that color and beam still have a time of zero seconds, but focus time is now one second. Let's create another look. Save it as a scene in Red Page 1, Scene 13. Set the default focus time to 5 seconds. Create another look. And save it in Red Page 1, Scene 14. When we play back these scenes, we can see the focus times that we recorded. To change the times in scene 14 back to zero seconds, play back the scene. Change the default times to zero. Then record the scene back in the same scene number. 